Dubai is where dreams and fantasies become reality, a land of superstars and fast cars. But in the world of high-performance vehicles, it's a male-dominated industry. But one group of women is changing that. They're the Arabian Gazelles, a group of around 80 women from all kinds of backgrounds, CEOs, housewives, business owners, and more. And they love to go fast. To quote Jalen Jarvie, an active member of the Gazelles, you don't have to be the hot chick in the front right seat, you can be the hot chick in the driver's seat. Buckle up, folks. It's time to learn all about the Arabian Gazelles. With a motto like, life is too short to drive boring cars, you can bet anyone involved with this group is a major gearhead. And that's just what you'll find with the Arabian Gazelles. Only with them, there's just one catch. It's girls only. Girls who love to go fast. Founded by Hanan Mizuzi Sabati, the Arabian Gazelles are a group of around 80 women from 17 nations. You'll find that it's quite an eclectic group, as CEOs, influencers, business owners, and even housewives are the ones who comprise this group of supercar aficionados. Sabati has described the Gazelles in interviews, and she has been quoted as saying, We are supercar enthusiasts and bona fide drivers who share the same passion and rush behind the wheel as men do. We refuse to sit pretty on passenger seats or cheerlead from the pits. So, what caused Sabati to start the group? Apparently, Sabati has been a major fan of sports cars all her life. She was born in Algeria and lived in the UK and Qatar before finally calling Dubai her home. Even though her background is in the luxury industry, cars had always fascinated her ever since she was a kid and played with her brother's toy sports cars. After 20 years of living in Dubai, Subati's passion for cars became her reality when she bought her Morgan Aero Supersport, a $185,000 car, and a Rolls-Royce Phantom Drophead, which goes for $249,822. When she would head over to the track to fulfill her need for speed, she would face flagrant and unabashed sexism each and every time. After all, the world of track racing and fast cars is overwhelmingly male-dominated, especially in Dubai. Subati has said, they always thought I was someone else, accompanying someone. I was just there to support him or to sit in the passenger seat. It's as if they didn't see me. Well, they certainly see her now. Sabati knew she couldn't be the only woman with a passion for supercars. She orchestrated a track day with two of her neighbors in 2016, and her guests were so enthralled by their experience that either went out and bought their own supercar the next day or started taking their husband's ride. Thus began the Arabian Gazelles. Sabati started posting on Instagram and other social media platforms, and the word spread of this female group of patrol heads, and word spread fast. 18-year-old member Gala Al Kepi, who is a student in international relations at Sharjah University, and who also owns a Porsche 911 Carrera, a $101,200 ride, found the group through Instagram and has been an active member ever since. So now we bet you are wondering, how in the heck does someone join the Arabian Gazelles? Well, to ride with the Gazelles, the first requirement is to be a true sport car aficionado. Members must either drive or own a car by Porsche, Lamborghini, Ferrari, Rolls-Royce, Bentley, Mercedes, McLaren, Aston Martin, Maserati, or Bugatti. Luxury SUVs like the Bentayga and the G-Wagon are also accepted. But over the years, the group's definition of sports car has been slightly blurred and not so defined. Sabati has talked about her current definition and has gone on record saying, for me, it's a combination of design, acceleration, speed, style, and rarity. It has to be super in every aspect. We have to agree, Miss Sabati. Well said. You may now be wondering what it's like to actually be in the Arabian Gazelles. Well, many times the Gazelles will participate in events that are run by some of the biggest names in the industry. And the theme is always one of excitement, adrenaline, and cars. McLaren, who is the company behind the McLaren F1, a car that went for $20.5 million at an auction in 2021, sponsored an exclusive female-only track experience with the Gazelles, which doubled as the first of its kind in the region. And it was just recently that the Gazelles were seen at the Dubai Autodrome, driving the latest from Rolls-Royce. It was their high-performance black badge models, which go for anywhere between $400,000 and $500,000. Then, luxury fashion retailer Moda Apparenti sponsored the Gazelles, and that turned into a feature with Harper's Bazaar Arabia. 
Who else is eyeing the gazelles? Michelin has expressed interest in setting up a workshop day for members. Basically, what we're saying is, the gazelles are really kicking. But it's not just sponsored events for the gazelles. Remember, these are car enthusiasts. Sometimes, they just want to go for a drive. Sabati has said, we are always trying to bring in different experiences, drive different make, or simply drive to new locations around the UAE. We do drive experience, drive and stay weekends, and high-octane luxury events. She has even hinted that soon, there will be international drives for the group. The gazelles will also act as test drivers, and companies couldn't be more thrilled to associate themselves with Sobati and her team. One time, Ferrari set up a test driving event with their $200,000 California T with five members of the gazelles, and Ferrari said two of them were ready to buy one the next day. But we gotta say, the coolest thing that the gazelles are up to has to be the fact that big name car companies are now looking to them for input on the design of cars and even brand perception. BMW is one such company, and they put their money where their mouth is and invited the gazelles to a roundtable talk about car design, which is a huge step forward in this industry when it comes to inclusion. Sabati was even invited to the Dubai International Motor Show as a panelist a spot that has been typically held by men. But when you're the head of the gazelles, you are undeniable, and perception is definitely changing because of these women. The proof is in Saudi Arabia's recent renouncement of the world's only ban on female drivers. Well done, gazelles. Your work is paying off. How could we talk about the Arabian gazelles without talking about social media? After all, it was through this forum that they made their mark on the industry and marketed their brand. Their Instagram is the prime location to go for gazelle content. It includes countless pictures of the girls and their cars, and all of the photos are centered on the love of sports cars and, of course, speed. Currently, they have an impressive 123,000 followers at the time of writing this video. But we'd venture to say that number is only going to grow. Influencers are a huge part of the reason for their online success. Alex Hershey, also known as Supercar Blondie, is a well-known influencer in Dubai and sports 9.2 million followers on Instagram. Her net worth is nothing to sneeze at either. She's amassed a fortune of $17 million. She also happens to be an active member of the Arabian Gazelles, and many of her pictures on the gram are of her hanging with the group. We have to say this is just the beginning for these women. It's a group all about positivity, changing perceptions, and of course, fast cars. They won't be slowing down anytime soon. Hey, before we go, have you ever wondered if there was an all-women's motorcycle group? Well, there is. Sirens Women's MC of New York City is one of the biggest in the country, and their tenants are safety, solidarity, support, and friendship, as well as supporting and participating in LGBTQ plus pride events and women's health initiatives. Nicely done. We'll see you next time, right here on The Richest.